Alright guys, so welcome to my video showing you the construction of my folding table that I made for my leaving sir. So as you can see, here were a few SketchUp designs I did. And as you can see, the stretchers actually turned out a bit different. So I started with some practice pieces, just practicing the mortise and tenons. And here's all my materials gathered together. This was the first tenon I cut and I was quite happy with it. And then I had to cut the corresponding mortises straight after. And I had to do this quite a few times. So as you can see, just here's the joint coming together. And I was very happy with the fits. And as you can see, I gave a kind of pillowed over look like the green and green style. And here's my first two legs and uh, stretcher assemblies. Now unfortunately one of the pieces cracked because it was too tight but it was simply a matter of gluing it and sanding it and I don't even know where it is anymore. So here's the kind of half blind dovetails I did for the top stretchers. Unfortunately you can't actually see these when the tabletop's on but it's great for strength. Now I had to cut two of them in half so these are going to be the two folding legs. So basically to do that you just cut in half and minus the thickness of the middle stretcher. So here I'm just gluing the two middle pieces of the top together, gluing the legs and the stretcher assembly together and using a wedge to fill in any gaps. And as you can see I also glued the folding parts. Now here's the table together with the hinges on and with brass hinges they're quite tough to put in and one of them actually didn't fully go down so that was a bit annoying. And there's it just folded. As you can see here are also the hinges on the legs and stretchers. And I put them in alternate sides so that way the legs wouldn't both fold in the same direction. And as you can see there's the top ones as well. And this is the whole thing together. Now here's just showing kind of the fold and action of it and how it's working. And I was delighted to get when I was at this stage of the project. Unfortunately I didn't account for the hinges on the top and the legs didn't swivel fully. So I raised up the middle with a piece of walnut and two pieces on the end, but this left a gap. So to account for this problem, I glued two wooden blocks on either side. So this is kind of what it looks like when you have it in its standing position. So I started sanding, going through all the grits, uh, pillowing over the corners just to stop them from chipping out. I applied my usual boiled linseed oil and beeswax finish buffing it out and I have to say the grain really did look beautiful and I was delighted when I was at this stage of the project because it did take an awful lot of sanding and I just let them dry separately as you do so as you can see here's some of the grain and I used the flash to kind of make the grain stand out and I have to say it looks beautiful so here's it in its folded position it's almost exactly half when it's in its full position and there's it with three legs so you could put it up against the wall and here's the finished thing. So I just want to thank you guys for watching and here's my table saw I got for Christmas. So I just want to again thank you all for watching. Please comment right and subscribe and have a happy new year and remember a clean shop is a safe shop. Thanks again.